Hey guys, welcome to another quick two minute update on Bitcoin. So we're going to run through what I've been talking about in the last video as well as following the start of this year. So following the start of this year, we have been talking about price coming down to 35k and finding some support. Alternatively, price could come down to 24k. These are the two main levels of support that I was looking out for. And obviously we saw that bounce here around 35k. So the big question remained, is it a big reversal that allows us now to see new all time highs or is it a, just a dead cap bounce? And I obviously mentioned in the last video, we are still looking like it's a dead cap bounce. There's no reason to think that this is a major reversal taking price to new all time highs. OK, and I maintain that that is still the case in this video. We're going to see how price is following these pitchforks still to the downside. So. We've got the major pitchfork here and obviously it, the price action is being held by the lower median line and the upper median line. This is generally the boundaries. You can see a slight overshoot of the lower median line, which allowed for a slight overshoot of the upper median line. But ultimately, we're still back within the downward trend here. And we have been focusing on this smaller pitchfork also to see if price can be taken to new highs, taking us up and out of this bigger pitchfork above the upper median line. But obviously, as you can see, we have struggled. We came into the upper warning line. We're now back at the median line. And also note that it was following a shift pitchfork. Shift pitchforks are generally holding on to corrective looking price action. And I must say this at present, you can only argue is made a three wavish move to the upside. Now, I do think that we're probably going to invalidate an impulse because if we call this a one, two, three, then the four, you would want it to bounce from here and continue higher because of course the wave four should not overlap with wave one. And if price does come beneath this median line here, I think the odds are it'll be gravitating towards the lower median line and coming very, very close to overlapping with wave one. In, in which case, I think price really does need to hold on to this point where it sits right now around 42,000. Otherwise, I think we are confirming that we're going to break 35K and probably come down to 24K. So I would probably be labeling it in this way, A, B, C. OK, also of notes, there's a very key level here. This is at forty six thousand two hundred and thirty dollars. And this is the yearly open. The year open for 2022 was right here. Still yet to come back above that level. So it's obviously still acting as resistance. And another bit of confirmatory support for the, the bears, really, is if we take a look at Ethereum. So similar analysis using our two pitchforks. We are still very much within the downward trend, as shown by the upper warning line holding as very good resistance. And then also the upward pitchfork here already it's been invalidated to the downside here. It was a modified shift that was holding the price action that has now been broken to the downside. You can see the price action was overlapping in nature as it went higher, suggesting it was a corrective bounce. And now it looks like we have finished that correction and we're about to continue our downward trend. So back to Bitcoin. I must say, just to round up, it still looks like the bears are in control of this market. Until, unless we can take out this high here at around 46k and get back above the yearly open, um, I would say the bears are still in control of this market. Very likely we take out 35k and head towards our other high time frame target of 24k. Reasons for that level, please check out my previous video where we spoke a bit more about the high time frame analysis. All right, but as it stands, as I say, I still think price is coming down from here. Things are looking weak, but we'll see how things play out. Take care, guys.